Hey guys, Rachel with Back to Good here and just wanted to give you a little video update here. We are somewhere in Texas. You know where we are? Uh, we passed Sweetwater. Yeah, Sweetwater was the last town I think. Mother town, Colorado Springs or something. Yeah, so. Colorado City. Something like that. I don't know. We're in the middle of Texas somewhere. We're We've in been between here. Odessa and Dallas. <laughs> Yeah, Texas is really big, so our whole drive has been pretty much through Texas, so we're still in Texas. We got about eight, maybe eight and a half hours left to drive, so we're parked at a rest stop here, taking a little break, getting the dog and the cat out, and letting them do their thing, and checking the tarp on the trailer and everything, so just wanted to pop in and give you guys a little video update, and let you know that we uh, we made it out of Arizona yesterday. We had a little bit of difficulties getting the camper ready, but we'll make a whole video about that because <laughs> uh, it's been an adventure already. So we're gonna just keep on plowing through Texas for the rest of the day. Yeah, we're sitting on the side of the road at the rest area, so it is not quiet. But yeah, so we're just, uh, everything's going good on the road so far. It was a bit of a rough start getting everything prepared and getting it ready, but you know, the road trip itself so far has gone well. We haven't had any flat tires, knock on wood, but um, no mechanical issues. Everything's been going great. Uh, been getting great gas mileage and so uh, weather's been great we uh, started out with a thunderstorm when we left and thought we were gonna get rained in maybe it was just enough rain yeah. to get the dust down so it, it made the, the drive out really easy we didn't get covered in dust I thought for sure we were gonna bring a layer of, of Arizona dust with us to Arkansas yeah <laughs> I was a bit worried that it was just gonna annihilate the road that our neighbor just fixed for us and got it all nice and smoothed out for us to get out. Yeah. And then I was worried it was gonna get yeah. Big thanks rain. to Matt. Matt, <laughs> thank you so much for helping us get the road done. Yep, yeah. the road looks better than it has the whole three years we lived there. Yeah. <laughs> so you did a great job. Yeah, we appreciate our neighbors. They were very, very helpful. So. Um, he made it really nice and easy to get the camper out so and uh everything's been going good i don't know uh we haven't really done a whole lot just uh stopping at rest areas we're following the guy moving our camper his name's josh he's been doing a wonderful job yeah he's taking it easy he's not like going super fast so we've actually been getting really good gas mileage following him we did get separated a little bit ago i think we're ahead of him so that's yeah. why I keep looking because I think he's coming down the interstate any time now. Yeah, we're um, waiting for him. <laughs> yeah, we had to stop, hit up an ATM so we could get the rest of the money uh, to pay him for hauling the trailer. Yeah, so we had to get a little bit more cash to make sure we had everything we need to pay him. And so we think he's coming up the road here and we're just waiting for him to pass by and then we're going to hop in the car and get back on the road because... Yeah, we'll catch up to him because he's definitely running under the speed limit, five, ten miles an hour, which yeah. is making it easier on the car. We are hauling a trailer with our with our little Mazda. It's a Ford Escape, basically, but you know, it's 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 hard wear and tear pulling stuff on any vehicle. So, so it, it's it's been nice that he's been taking it easy and not going, you know, like Days of Thunder the whole way to Arkansas. Right, and it, we've had a few little things going on on the way here. Um, one, one of the windows on uh, the camper wasn't shut, so it, they're like louver windows. So as we're driving down behind it, we can see the windows just a flap in and the yeah, wind. I and, think the wind caught it and pulled it out, and yeah. it's just unwound itself, unfortunately. And it's in the room where we can't get to because we got everything packed in yeah. there. So it, no it should way. be fine. We're just getting some, some air Texas air flow through the trailer right now. Yeah, and then the driver or not the driver door <laughs> yeah the door <laughs> the would kept door. popping open um so but we, i was able to get it locked 
Yeah, we weren't able to get it locked at first, so we just said, oh, no big deal, you yeah. know, we just shut the door. And it's an older trailer, so it's going down the road, yeah. shifting, the, the door, if it wasn't locked, it just popped open. Yeah, so uh, it kept pop out, popping open. Luckily, every everything was packed in there, Rachel did a great job doing sardines, yeah. and uh, <laughs> nothing, nothing came out. Yeah, so every rest stop for like the first five, we had to shut the door. Well, a couple, the first couple, the Josh shut it for us and... Oh, that looked like that trailer was dragging on the ground the way it looked. Um, but yeah, Josh shut it for us a couple times, and then we noticed it a couple times. So yeah, our door was uh, open most of the ride here, at least half the way. So now we got it locked. So that's fine. good. Everything's fine. <laughs> Nothing fell out. It's fine. <laughs> and luckily, the door opens the right way, so it didn't flip yeah, the door open and rip it off. Yeah, the wind was keeping it shut. Yeah, because it, it was going against the wind. Yeah, so it worked out great. And it looks like one of the tie straps or whatever yeah. scooted to the back so we'll go move that up. It looks like we're going to arrive in Arkansas right around midnight, give or take an hour, 11, between 11 and 1 a.m. We just, yeah. uh, we're just, Josh, he, he likes to stop a lot so we're, we're letting him, you know, they, we got the animals with us, the dog and the cat, they need to get out and go to the bathroom too so yeah. it's really been nice so hopefully he'll uh, hang out till the morning and we can have daylight to get it back in there to trailer in a good spot right um, but we, when we get to arkansas here what are we gonna do oh yeah that was the whole purpose of uh stopping and doing this little update was because we want to let you know how our trip's going but we also wanted to let you know that when we get close to arkansas when we're arriving into arkansas we were going to try to do our very first live so let's see if i can figure out how to do it and make sure it all works right but we were planning on going live here once we get to Arkansas so be on the lookout to see if we go live um, I don't know uh, probably in about six hours or so well, let's see it's seven and a half hours to Gary and Mary's from where we're at right now if we just you know hit the pedal to the metal but for Arkansas Looks like about the last hour and a it's half is Arkansas. Only, yeah, it's only like another 150 miles, I think, or 200 inside to Arkansas. So yeah. So we got we got almost 300 miles to go before we're gonna be there. So uh, let's say about four hours. Yeah. So then we're gonna try to do a live as long as I figure out how to do it all right and everything works just yeah, fine. Which would be uh, 7:30 roughly Central Time. Yeah. Because it's 3:30 right now, and it might take a little bit to get this video uploaded going down the freeway yeah so uh, yeah because the dog is a little stressed out for the ride let's just say that <laughs> i got a few bruises and scrapes and he's tearing me up he ripped a big old hole in my shirt getting his nail caught in there so yeah. oh it's been a little rough ride for the animals they're not really enjoying the ride but you know they're they're hanging in there and they're getting better as we go along they're young so. They'll, yeah, they'll be happy once we get to Arkansas and, and they get to run around in green green grass. Yeah, they won't even know what to do. I don't think right. either one of them have ever seen yeah. regular green ga grass. We might like actually this. even be able to let our cat outside and not have to worry about predators. Oh, I don't know about that. They got lots of coyotes. Uh, but... There's trees for the cat to climb. The oh, cat yeah. can escape. We're in the yeah. desert. There is there no was trees, nothing yeah. for where the cat to go to run. Yeah. You know when the when predators are coming. And unfortunately, oh, are you looking for him. Yeah, okay. I don't know. He may be ahead of us, so we're uh, we'll wrap this up. Here. Yeah, we're we're gonna wrap it up because we gotta go tighten down our tarp and uh, try to catch Josh as he drives by, if he drives by. Yeah. So we're gonna go to the bathroom, and the animals are done. We're getting ready to go. But yeah, look out for our live as long as I figure it out. Hopefully, I don't end up in vertical mode because we all know that draws in trolls. So hopefully, <laughs> my phone cooperates and goes into horizontal mode like I want. So. We'll catch you guys later, and we'll see you in Arkansas soon, and peace out.